Who were your musical influences growing up? Growing up, like, I got into stuff so early. Uh, like, Beck was one of the first CDs I ever got. And he was kind of like my first love musically and otherwise. Um, and then I remember, like, memorizing Sonic Youth lyrics and weird tunings when I was, like, 11. And, you know, like, all the kind of, like, 90s stuff, like the Melvins, Nirvana, etc. They really helped me, like, look into their influences and kind of get to, like, where they came from, like, you know, being inspired by the Pixies or even Sonic Youth, like I mentioned. And otherwise, it, it was super helpful because the internet was luckily around <laughs> then, and it was so easy to research things, so I kind of, like, was obsessed with looking at, like, what got huge pants at that time rolling. What's the first song you ever learned? Oh, my God. Uh, ever learned. I don't even, I don't know if I know that. I used to write a lot myself like I played piano when I was like in diapers like two on so one of my first jobs playing piano and getting lessons was to write my own song I don't know what it would be on guitar I do remember picking it up and writing my own kind of thing which artist would you like to tour or work with you worked with or toured with Guns N' Roses with Marilyn Manson is there a band that you'd like to actually go on tour with Oh my god, there's, there's so many. It's like, sometimes it's like asking like an author their favorite book, you know? There's just so many. Uh, I would love to work with Leaky Lee. I would love to work with Ma. She's also from Sweden. Or Mo. Uh, love to work with... Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, oh my god, like, how about like Blonde Redhead do something kind of weird like that, and then maybe... Uh, who else would I love to? Kim Gordon would be like a little bit of a dream for me. And then, I don't know. I've got to work with so many people. Maybe like Waves or Fiddler or some kind of like King Tough, some kind of like rocking indie California thing. So you've uh, written a couple albums now and you've been writing since you were a kid. What's your preferred way of writing new music? Uh, the whole last record that I wrote, I did all on piano. and. I found that really nice just because I'd always been writing on guitar or bass and like sometimes I feel like I've used up all the different like chord changes that are my favorites, you know? So being able to switch it up and pick up like a different instrument that I would normally use helps so much. Especially like something like piano where it has to be a good song stripped away with nothing else there production wise. So that really helps a lot. That even like encourage bass way more over writing on guitar because really hear the notes clearly and it's like a little bit more clear than guitar because it's a little more convoluted with different strings. What's your favorite song to play? Uh, to play? Uh, right now, I was right now, it would probably be, um, Sucker Punch has been really fun just because we got it really tight and then uh, I also like pitching a lot. So you've played arenas and you're going on tour now in Canada again and one of the places in Saskatoon is going to be a smaller venue. Which one is your favorite type of venue to play? Oh, okay. Well, I would say, like, I mean, arenas are awesome. It's great to do the arena tours. It's awesome to, like, watch the wave of people jumping up and down or, like, songs that they know or singing along. That's awesome and good. But at the end of the day, a small venue that's, like, crammed way past capacity and having them right in the crowd like kind of more right in your face instead of like 50 meters away there's something really cool and magical about that that you just can't get in an arena what's your most memorable moment so far oh goodness um i remember when we first got called to the guns and roses tour like a few years back i'd never played an arena or anything before it was like my first time and it was really short notice too, like they called us like the week before, because I guess when Guns N' Roses tour, apparently like even their whole production crew, they're kind of like worried that the tour is like completely canceled a minute before, like it's just not, you know, they're just not like kind of, they don't take him on his word. So it all got thrown together really quick. And I just remember like showing up and getting to see like, um, I think it was Rogers Center in Toronto, getting to see like all the seats with the lights on, just like a really cool experience. and. Definitely a really fun, fun high point for me.
What advice can you give to somebody who's wanting to create a band? Oh, goodness. Now, <laughs> there's like the jaded part of me that's like, oh my God, it's such a bad time for bands and music and et cetera, especially now, and it has been for quite some time. The last like eight or nine years have been really tough. That's it. If it's in your bones and it's like what you need to do, I feel like you have to. I feel like it's almost like you have to have no plan B just to like make it work. Um, but again, like you catch me on the wrong day and I'm like, I don't know why I'm even doing this. How does that get any stuff? It's hard to keep yourself motivated, but nice to have like a nice little crew or band around me to, to lift me up in that situation. But I would say the same thing to, to someone starting. Like if it's in your bones and you kind of have to do it, you gotta, you got it. Like you got to at least try and see it through. Um, as cheesy as that is, like, it's just it's just something that you need for the soul. If you weren't in a band, what career do you think you would have? I always wonder about this. I I love doing all the merch designs and all the t-shirt and clothing and stuff for uh, for the band. So I feel like I would do something like that because I would go down the clothing avenue since that makes me really happy. So you'd still do an artistic type of of thing if it wasn't music. It'd be designing and stuff. Yeah, or writing, I guess, yeah. So, what's one song you wish you wrote? Oh my god, so many. Uh, this, these questions are, like, so hard for me. <laughs> it's, like, the hardest thing ever for me to answer. Um, I, there's a bunch of Motown songs, like, I'll Be There by the Four Tops, or, like, Di uh, oh, man, this Diana Ross stuff, even, I wish I wrote, even, like, Stevie Nicks, The Edge of Seventeen, or um, almost like Marvin Gaye songs too, like Here's Through the Grapevine, or um, Stevie Wonder, Part-Time Lover, like all of those that we should have wrote and more. Oh my God, I love them. What's your guilty pleasure song or artist? Oh, I have a million. Um, guilty pleasures. We were, I was, you know what, it's funny, I wanted to start like a bad cover band that had this idea last week where we play like guilty pleasures, like that Sugar Ray song, to like Limp Bizkit songs, and things that like charted and did well single wise. The songs that people are like embarrassed of liking. <laughs> Maybe I would say like old core and like guilty pleasures. Um, maybe like Stone Temple Pilots and stuff like that. I would I would call those guilty pleasures for sure. Well, that's cool. <laughs> is it cool? <laughs> it is. It's, it's a neat idea because people would actually show up to a show like that. Because, like you said, they're embarrassed of the song, but they actually like the song, so they'd actually exactly. show up, so that's kind of a neat <laughs> idea. <laughs> One more question here. You were in Hardcore Logo 2. How did that collaboration come about? Uh, the collaboration came about because Bruce McDonald, uh, who directed the first Hardcore Logo uh, back in 1989, and also did the new Hardcore Logo 2, he and I had worked on a band documentary for Die Mannequin that we sold with uh, the Fina Plus Bleed Record. And we worked so well with him then. And then we also did a music video for Saved by Strangers after that. So we'd worked with him like a couple times. And that's when it kind of came around when he was like, hey, I should just throw you guys in as a new band and hardcore with it too and we'll throw together. 